In Jesus' time, the newlywed celebrated their honeymoon at home for a whole week with all the guests. This was a time of great feasting and celebrating. When asked why he and his disciples did not fast, Jesus used the vivid picture of a wedding celebration. Jesus points to himself as the bridegroom and his disciples as the bridegroom's friends. He alludes to the fact that God takes delight in his people as a groom delights in his bride. In our gospel today, Jesus reminds his followers that there is a time for fasting and for humbling oneself in preparation for the coming of God's kingdom and for the return of the messianic king. The Lord's disciples must also bear the cross of affliction and purification. Fasting can be done in, for a variety of reasons. To gain freedom from a bad habit or addiction, to share in the suffering of those who have nothing to eat, or to grow in our hunger for God and for the things of heaven. This season of Lent, remember that fasting for God's kingdom and hungering for God always go hand in hand. And that's one bite.